Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is 11 22 November the 2nd, 2022. We're so thankful uh, that you're joining us this morning for this Bible study. Come on, tell your neighbors, tell your friends. Pastor Bridges is on again. Oh, we're blowing the bus. Come on, get your coat, get your notebook, get your Bible. Come on, we're blowing. Get your sweater. You might not need a coat, but at least get you a little sweater. We're going to have a good time on the bus today. Good morning, Sharon. Hope everything is well with you. God bless you. Amen. Come on. Amen. I was able to text uh, Stephen Jr. Uh, this week, and so glad that he's doing good over there. Amen. Uh, where the tragedy was this past week, uh, we are definitely praying much for him and his uh, uh, family and fellow soldiers. God bless you. Good morning, Janine. What's up? <laughs> Trustee Bonner, good morning. Good morning. Ready to roll? Yes, Miss Gloria. We're ready to do it. Come on, get your notebooks out. Reverend Wittenberg, Miss Wittenberg, God bless you for joining us today. I'm telling you, we're going to have a Holy Ghost good time. Amen and amen. Good morning, Cynthia. God bless you. Uh, Brother Freeman, if you're watching, and Miss McGill, if you're watching, good morning to all of you. Uh, Miss Ernestine, good morning. Brother John, good morning. Sandy, what's up, Sandy? Another good classmate of mine. What's up, Trustee? Dillard, glad to have you with us if you're watching. Miss Lakeisha, good morning. Come on. Tell your neighbors and friends. Good morning. We love you too, Miss Keisha. God bless you, Todd and the family. Hope all is well. Amen. I hope all is well. Bus monitor, I see you, Janine. You got your reflective coat on. I need you with your vest on today. It's kind of cloudy. So so that so they can recognize you real quick. Good morning. Uh, Dot, what's up? Petty, what's up? Glad to have y'all on the bus. Uncle Leo, if you're with us this morning up in Tennessee, thank you so much for joining us in Nashville, Tennessee. God bless you. Mary Thomas, good morning. Linda Faye Lou Huey, good morning to you. Amen to Miss Ann, if you're watching. Many, many, many on the bus from Bridgeport, Connecticut. I'm telling you, we all up and down the East Coast today. That's what I'm talking about. Deacon S. Blanton, good morning to you. Deacon Blanton, to the entire family, God bless you all. Let's pray. Let's get started. Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you for another day. Uh, this is a day that we will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you uh, uh, for giving us another day. We pray that you'll forgive us of our sins, of our shortcomings, God, our sins of commission, things we did wrong, and things of omission, God, things that we didn't do right. God, please look down upon us, for you know our frame. You know, oh God, that we are sinful. You know, oh God, that we are fragile. But thanks be to God through your spirit, uh, you make us strong. And we thank you. We pray, oh God, and we thank you that you will touch us today to grow in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Father, without you, we can do nothing, but all things are possible. God, as we lift you up today in study, we pray, oh God, that you will help us again uh, uh, to grow. God, help us all as a group, but help us grow individually. Father, for there are things that uh, you want to do to us, God, as individuals, help us to achieve uh, those uh, uh, graces today that we may grow in favor. Thank you again. Touch our eyes to see, touch our ears to hear, touch our hearts to believe. Thank you, God. We pray for no distractions. We pray that your word will be the main attraction. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hmm? Did y'all say amen? That's all I want to know. Huh? I need about everybody that's on here right now to push that share arrow. I'm telling you, it's a wonderful time to be alive. It's a wonderful time to be on the bus. Uh, we're so excited about our church family. Amen. What God is doing. Amen. In our midst. Again, we thank you so very much. We want to say good morning to, amen, uh, Arilla. Good morning, Arilla. Uh, God bless you. Good morning to uh, Deaconess Crumwell, this screen is jumping so fast, to uh, Miss Neal, God bless you, Danielle Neal, New York City, thank you so much for joining us, one of our wonderful members, all the way in New York City, amen, um, to 
Shirley Smith, God bless you, amen, to Miss Nancy, if you're watching, and to Miss Nancy Knuckles, if you're watching today, uh, who's hospitalized there in Spartanburg, we are praying much for you, Gloria Davis, again, and Little John, good morning, to Vita Laverne, what's up, Vita Laverne, glad to have you with us from Charlotte, North Carolina, welcome, welcome, amen, Sonora, what's up, my friend, God bless you, Lee, what's up, Lee, Little John, amen, and Trustee Huey, Jacqueline Payton, good morning to you. We're so thankful uh, to have you with us today, and we appreciate uh, you and your family. Hope Harrison is doing doing much better. Again, we thank you so much. Let's crank up the bus and let's get rolling. Huh? Y'all ready? I think my battery all right now. I think we got we got all of that corrected. <laughs> we we made our winter adjustments. Here we go. The bus is crunked. I need you to go with me to Psalm 33, Psalm 33, verse 6, amen, amen, Psalm 33, verse 6, amen, I need y'all to sit down, Janine, get them to sit down, the bus moving, you don't need to get a ticket, God bless you. Good morning, Diane, good morning, Miss Mary Ellis, good morning, good morning, we ready, that's what I'm talking about, yeah, we got you, Miss Nancy, we love you so much. Oh, we're glad you're still on the bus with us. You don't hear me, do you? Huh? Do you hear me? Amen. Sheila. Good morning, Sheila. Byers, glad to have you with us. Oh, Sheila. Thank you to have. So thankful to have you with us. Amen. Psalm 33, verse 6. This will be our first stop today. We looked last week at Genesis 1. We looked at a couple other things about the word of God, that God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So God is a spirit. He's everywhere at the same time. And because of that, God's ability, amen, to do that, uh, it was him. It was only him in the beginning. But God began to speak. We look at that um, last week when he spoke in John, uh, excuse me, Genesis chapter 1. Amen. We looked at Jesus and we looked at, at, at God and had they wrote and they spoke. Amen. This part of the word of God, we're looking at the God speaking. We're looking at God speaking, at God talking, his, his audible voice, things that we hear. Amen. That's what we're looking at in this section. And the Bible says that it was dark, and, but the spirit of God was moving upon the face of the deep. Amen. And then God spoke, let there be light. Amen. The first words he said was, let there be light. And then uh, there was light. Huh? Amen. So we know that there's power in his voice. There's power in his voice. There's power in God's word. Amen. Even from the beginning. I need everybody that can, again, to push that share arrow so, uh, so that we can get this gospel out to our neighbors and friends. Again, we thank you so very much. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Risa Adams, good morning and congratulations to you. Amen. I'm so proud of you. Amen. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. Oh, you deserve it. Amen. You hear me, Miss Nancy? All right. Lily Crosby, good morning to you. Amen. Ruby Michaels, good morning. Good morning, Big John, to the rest of the Michaels family. Teresa, good morning, Teresa. That's what I'm talking about. Kim Cavaze, all the way in Cleveland. Amen. Ohio. And Jackie Payton, our friend from Winston-Salem. God bless you. Glad to have you with us. Amen. Psalm 33, verse 6. And God said, let there be light. And then he separated, amen, the light from the darkness. Amen. And that's what God did. Amen. He separated the light from the darkness because there is a difference. Amen. There is a difference between righteousness and unrighteousness. There is a difference between good and bad. There is a difference between heaven and hell. There is a difference, amen, between right and wrong. Huh? But when, amen, evil minds, amen, uh, began to evolve and when evil minds began to, to speak, amen, they will call good wrong, amen, and call wrong good amen they'll call good bad they'll call bad good they'll call right wrong and call wrong right uh they'll call unrighteousness righteousness 
and they'll call uh, righteousness unrighteousness. Amen. They will flip it. Amen. They will uh, confuse. Amen. What God has made so simple. I want somebody to put that on the screen. Amen. They will confuse what God has made simple. Amen. Can you put that on the screen? I need everybody that can put that on the screen to put that on the screen because that's why we must put emphasis on the first thing God said was let there be light. And that's what he said. Francis Train, glad to have you uh, with us again. Again, we're praying much for Michael Hardy. Thank you so much for the update on him, Francis. God bless you. Sadie! What's up, Sadie? Glad to have you with us. Amen. And Janine is already, she's dad, Spomberg, too, with her daughter. Amen. Uh, we're praying much for, amen, your daughter. We're praying that she's getting better. Vernon Ray Ray Leach, good morning to you. Amen. I thank you so much for putting those on the screen. Reverend Williams, good morning to you. Well, we have a wonderful group today. Amen. Say that. I see you saying it. Uh-huh. Yep. They were confused what God, amen, made simple. And remember last week we looked at when the first attack on a human was when Satan, uh, in the form of a serpent, uh, called the serpent, uh, got to Eve and questioned what God said. Questioned the word. Hath God said it? And, and, and that's what causes the confusion when people don't know what God said and when they misunderstand what God said. Huh? And those are the things that help keep us in peace. Knowing what God said help propel us to greatness. Knowing what God said help keep us out of trouble. Knowing what God said keeps our feet firm on the word. What Knowing what God said is, is what enables us, amen, to use uh, the tools that God gave us, amen, to not only, amen, to be a witness, not only to be a, a, a servant of God, not only to be a worshiper and a praiser, not only, amen, to be different, amen, from the world, but, but to allow us to walk in the light, amen, because we need light. And that's what we're talking about here today because, amen, we are different. Amen. And, 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 and that's just how it is. God's people are different. The Bible said we are peculiar people. It said we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, amen, that we should show forth the praises of him, amen, and of him. Who is he? Him is God. <laughs> uh, he's the one, amen. He's the one. I see you, Laverne. I see you, Vita Laverne. Yeah, they will confuse what God made simple. And that's why we're here today talking about this because, amen, we have to uh, stay alert. We must be vigilant. We must not, amen, faint uh, because we are progressing. We, we, not, we must not grow weary because of well-doing. We must not lay down, amen, our, our, our religion. We must continue to press on. Huh? Press on. We have to press on. We have to press on. Can somebody that can, if you will, can you put on the screen, we must press on. Yep, we must press on. We see you now. How you doing, Regina Redfern? Glad to have you with us. Thank you so very much for joining us today. Amen. There in Charlotte, I do believe, North Carolina. Is that right, Miss Redfern? I think that's right. God bless you. But this screen is jumping over here today. Amen. Now, Psalm 33, amen, verse 6. We need everybody there. I need everybody there. Tamika, if you own, we need you there. And I need everybody to get ready to read. Yep, that's what I need you to do because we're getting ready to do it. Thank you, Miss Sandy. Oh, thank you. Hey, we must press on. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining. Every day, <laughs> still onward praying, as I'm homeward bound, Lord, plant my feet on your ground. Y'all remember that? Oh, Lord, Lord, lift me up, let me stand, and let me stand. 
Faith on heaven, faith on heaven, promised land, promised land, new heights I'm gaining, new heights I'm gaining, as I'm homeward bound, as I'm homeward bound, oh, plant my feet on high, yeah, ground, <laughs> tell your neighbor we got to press on, press on, hey, amen, the Dore Me used to have a song, press on. On with praying. Press on. Huh? We got to press on. I'm going to tell you this little story I heard about this guy that wanted a job. Amen. At the, amen, um, at the cleaners. And that day he went to work at the cleaners. Amen. He he went there and everybody else had called off. Good God Almighty. Has anybody ever been in a situation like that? <laughs> People you were counting on, you couldn't find them. Huh? People supposed to have been there, uh, wasn't there. Huh? Are you listening to me? Hey Amen. The team wasn't a team. It, it ended up being you. <laughs> and when the owner came in, hey amen, the first thing that the new hire said, he said, look at this big pile of shirts. Look at this big pile of suits. Look at this big pile of pants. And, 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 and you want me to do all of this? What you want me to do? The owner looked at him and said, where's everybody else at? He said, they called off. They're sick. They didn't come. Some of them just probably hanging out. He said, he said well, me and you here. And then he said, it does. I said, well, what you want me to do? He said, press on. <laughs> huh? and, and I don't know who that's for today. That might be for you. But but don't look at how high the, the, the pile is. Just do what you can do with the pile. Don't worry about who didn't show up to help. You just do your part. Press on. Good God Almighty. And just press. Just get in there and get the word. Press. That's what he was there to do. <laughs> was to press on. Huh? And I just want to ask you a question. Are you pressing on? <laughs> Are you moving on? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good God Almighty. Good morning to you. Amen. Good morning. Amen. Marcella. Another one of my great classmates. Bachman down in Amen, Atlanta Metro. God bless you. Lula, what's great? Good morning. Hope you and Terry are doing well. God bless you. Is there anybody out there pressing on? That's all I want to know. Danielle, you're pressing up there in New York? Huh? Y'all pressing in Gaffney, Spartanburg, Cherokee, Spartanburg, Greenville, Cleveland County, Rutherford County. Y'all pressing on? Y'all pressing on, huh? Mecklenburg, pressing on. I see him pressing on. Good God Almighty. I think there's another song that said, I'm pressing on. I'm pressing on. Trying to reach my heavenly home. Huh? Y'all remember that one? Few more tears I have to share. Few more burdens I have to bear. I'm pressing on. Good God Almighty. I'm pressing on. Trying to reach. What's the sail? I'm pressing on. I see your jacket. My heavenly home. Huh? I'm pressing on. Pressing on. I'm pressing. Pressing on. <laughs> pressing on. Pressing on. I'm pressing. Pressing on. People still lying on me. Pressing on. Pressing on. Pressing on. Heels get high. Pressing on. Pressing on. Pressing on. Can't sleep at night. Pressing on. Pressing on. Pressing on. Oh, I'm pressing on. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm just trying to encourage you today. Huh? We got to make this journey somehow. Huh? We got to make this. Uh, uh, good God Almighty. We got to make this journey somehow. Huh? <laughs> That's another song right there. We got to make this journey. Huh? All Mill Choir, the old corn called All Mill Choir, used to sing, Somehow, 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 Somehow. Oh, we got to make this journey somehow. You know that Satan's 
on our track. <laughs> and he's trying to turn us back. Good God Almighty. Oh, we got to make this journey. Somehow. <laughs> we got to get in this word here. Psalm 33, verse 6. Come on. I'm getting excited in here. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is encourage you today in the word of God. I see you pressing on, pressing on. I see you, Diane and Marcella. I see all you pressing on. God, God Almighty, praise the Lord. Psalm 33, verse 6. Come on, I need everybody reading here. Everybody. North Carolina, South Carolina, Connecticut, Florida, Virginia, Georgia, uh, Maryland, uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York. Huh? Tennessee, Texas, Alabama, and Mississippi. Hawaii. Wherever you are, Indiana, we, we need you right now. Come on. It says, by the word of the Lord were the heavens made. And all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. He, he did it by speaking. Amen. There's power in speaking. Good call of mine. Can, can, can I get everybody that can comment to please put that on the screen. What's up, Rex? Glad to have you with us, my friend, all the way in Boston, Massachusetts. God bless you. What's up, Earl? God bless you, Earl. I miss the music. A trustee. And again, a faithful member of our church. We're so glad to have you, Earl. Now, it said here, amen, uh, uh, I need everybody that can comment to put on there, there's power in speaking. Huh? I need you to put that on the screen. Come, come on, Ray Ray. I need you to put that on the screen. Come on, Mitz. If you're on here today, um, um, Hui, amen. Bonner, I need all y'all brothers and sisters out there. I see you, Vita La Laverne. There's power in speaking. Amen. Everybody's putting that. Sonora, I'll see you put it out there. I don't need everybody that can put it out there. Uh, Dot, I need to see yours. I need to see you put it out there, too. That's why the devil, number one, wants you to say negative things. <laughs> There's power in speaking, and that's why the devil wants you to say negative things to cancel out your ability to say positive things. Amen. Now, some of you are taking notes. I, I, I just, I, amen. If you have to watch the replay, you, 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 you watch the replay. The next thing, the devil wants you to... Remember that one of the Ten Commandments is don't use the Lord's name in vain. I see you there, Deacon. I, I, I got you there. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, Janine, I see you. I see Deacon Blanton there. And I see yours, Danielle. And Deacon S. Blanton. That's power. Earl, I see yours. That's power. That's why the devil, amen, he don't mind you saying God, but he wants you to use God's name in vain by adding curse words with it. Good God Almighty. Is this helping somebody? Huh? And also there's power in speaking. And that's why we have to be, amen, bring life uh, from our voice and not cursing. He came to give us life more abundantly. So all I'm trying to say is, especially when you're mad, <laughs> when you get mad, your, your, your language will change if you're not careful. When you get mad, amen, you'll, you'll say words you thought you forgot. Good God Almighty. When you get mad, amen, you'll belittle the people you love with your, with your words that you were just whispering sweet things in the previous night. <laughs> When you're mad. Or either the devil will get you so mad that you will tell him, I ain't, I'm not talking to them no more. <laughs> you see, not talking is just as bad as talking bad and negative and nasty. Good God, man. I need somebody to write this on the screen because God said, let there be light when it was darkness. What if he would have started cussing? What if he would have got mad? What if he would have complained about how dark it was? What, what if he was talking about, amen, what he couldn't see? What, what if he was talking about, amen, the thickness and that his knife wasn't sharp enough to cut the darkness? What if he said that? Hmm? But he said, let there be light. 
And I'm just trying to help somebody understand there's power in the word. Huh? There's power in the word. There's power in speaking God's word. There's power in reading God's word. There's power in singing God's word. Huh? Amen. There's power. Amen. In, in, in hearing God's word. Faith comes by hearing God's word. And that's why it's so important to speak. Because some people will only get faith by what they hear. And again, that's why cheerleaders cheer during the game. The team is losing by 21 points. But they're still over there cheering. That's all right. That's okay. We gonna beat them anyway. That's all right. That's okay. We gonna beat them anyway. Huh? I need some people that's going to cheer me up when I'm down. huh? I need some people that's going to help me when I'm down. I don't need you to step on me. I don't need you to belittle me. I don't need you to, amen, derate me. I don't need you to, amen, squash me. I need you to lift me. Huh? <laughs> Did that help anybody? That's why words are so important. That's why if you can't say nothing good, don't, don't say nothing. If you can't put a good comment out there on YouTube, don't don't put nothing. If you can't put a, something good on Facebook, don't say nothing. Because somebody is counting on you for encouragement and you giving them the opposite. You give them discouragement. Huh? Good call them out. We got to get out of here. Psalm 33 verse 9. If you go with me there, we got to move the bus. Hey Amen. Y'all sit down. We get ready to move the bus. Can you get them down, Janine? Can you get them to sit down for me, Janine? We get ready to move the bus here. Everybody sitting down. All right. Psalm 33, uh, 33 verse 9. Thank you, Janine. Girl, you know, you know you're a good number one A bus monitor. Thank you so much. Amen. Now, here we are at verse 9. I need everybody reading verse 9. I need everybody, where you can, read out loud if you can. If you can't, you whisper it where you can hear it. Huh? Just loud enough so you can hear it. That's what we need to do right now. Come on. Here we go. It says, verse 9, for he spake, and it was done. Good God Almighty. I love that. He commanded, and it stood fast. Yeah. But God's voice, there's power in his voice. Huh? That's why, amen, when, when, when a parent spends time with a child, that child know when you're playing. That child know, amen, uh, when you are serious. That child knows, even though you're down the hall, when you speak and mean it, that child will sit down. <laughs> Huh? Amen. It's all done because not only the voice, but, but for the respect of the voice and the one who is speaking. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So all I'm trying to do is encourage somebody today, amen, to, to live so you can get the respect you need. Huh? To react so that you can get the respect that you need. Let your light shine so they can get the respect that you need. Sharita, good morning to you. Amen. We we got two on the on here, brother and sister. Amen. God bless you both. Deborah Johnson, good morning. Elvis Johnson, good morning. Georgia Lindo, good morning. And that's the things we're gonna have to do. Amen. To get that respect. We're gonna move the bus. Come on, we got to move. We can, we, we're gonna we're gonna do some more stops in here today. We're stopping today. Come on, I need y'all to sit down. Psalm 148. Verse 5, Psalm 148, verse 5. I need about 10 more people to push that share out so we can get it out there. Psalm 148, verse 5. Hey Amen. Are you there? Psalm 148, verse 5. And as we look here at the book of Psalms, I want you to know that there are 150 psalms. Amen. And the word psalms means song. Amen. And they were written by several writers, but David wrote the most. Amen. So my question is, how many psalms are there? Amen. And who wrote the most psalms? I think David wrote, amen, the uh, 73 
Psalms. Amen. How many Psalms did David write? Who wrote the most Psalms and how many of them are there? Good morning, Elizabeth Ross. You, 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 you still on the bus. We'll, 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 we'll let you ride. Come on. Brother James, glad to have you with us. Amen. Janine, girl, you know you got it going on. Huh? <laughs> yeah. To God be the glory. Amen. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Psalm 148, verse 5. Is everybody there? All right. Come on. Let's read it together. I need everybody reading North Carolina, South Carolina, everybody all over the world. 158. Excuse me. 140. It's 150 Psalms. 150 Psalms. Yep. Y'all got it. 150 Psalms. David wrote, yep, yeah, about 73. There you go. I'm, hey, man, we're growing in knowledge today. Huh? That's why David is so important. Huh? That, that's why he's a, he's a shepherd. He's a man after God's whole own heart. That's why he's so important. He started out in the field and ended up, amen, in the palace. Are y'all listening to me? He started out watching sheep, but he, he ended up watching the people of God. And I always say how you treat your animals a lot of time is how you treat people. But then again, there are some people that will treat animals, amen, with the utmost care and respect, but treat their neighbors, amen, as trash. Are oh, you listening to me? The Bible said, love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. We got some more work to do. Somebody put on the screen, we have some more work to do. We have some more work to do. Amen. All over the world, we have more work to do. Psalm 148, verse 5. I need everybody reading with me. Come on. I need everybody. Come on. It says, let them praise the name of the Lord. That's the heavens and earth. If you will see that in verse 4. But he said, let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded and they were created. Now, how is it that heaven and earth can, can praise the Lord and people cannot? <laughs> huh? Isn't it amazing how nature... Amen. Uh, respects God. Amen. In, in the time of a storm, it'll get so peaceful. Before the storm, they, they respect the power of God. Birds will stop flying. Hmm? Horses will go in the barn. Cows will lay down. It, they, they, they respect God. But, but people uh, don't respect God like they used to. Hmm? Some of them, I'm going to say some of them, but there's some of us who fear the Lord because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. <laughs> and then he said, and all thy getting get some understanding. <laughs> I remember a man when uh, lots of time before a storm, the, the, the wind would blow. Hmm? Sometime at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a hot summer day, it'll get so cloudy uh, that the street light will come on. Anybody remember days like those? Sometime uh, you can hear the lightning down the road. And mama say, y'all come on in the house. <laughs> huh? The people don't respect storms no more. And, and, and when you got in the house, she'll say unplug the TV. <laughs> huh? She'll say unplug this and that because... Hey Amen. We worked hard to get it, and we don't want the electricity to tear it up. <laughs> huh? Nowadays, people just watch TV through the storm. They they be on the phone through the storm. Y'all, are you listening to me? They'll walk outside in the storm. They'll play golf in the storm. But but we have to learn to respect the power of love. Huh? Learn to respect the power. Oh, love. Don't y'all know God love, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> yeah, we have more work to do. I see you, Sharita. I, I'm reading it right here. Yep. I see you, Deborah. I see you, Joni. What's up, Joni? The one and only. There she is. Whoop. There she is. Yep. Yep, yep. Stephanie Mills. That's Stephanie Mills. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. When we respect God, good God Almighty, things can happen. Things will happen. So we got to praise. We got to learn how to praise him. Huh? Praise is what I do. When I want to be close to you. I lift my hands 
in praise. <laughs> huh? I vow to praise you, God. <laughs> Are y'all with me? Through the good and the bad, I'll praise you. Whether happy or sad, I'll praise you in all I go through. Because praise is what I do. Good God Almighty. And I owe it all to you. Huh? Anybody feel like that? Praise is what I do. <laughs> Good God Almighty. That's what happens when, when, when we praise God and, and then respect Him and, 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 and love Him for who He is. Good God Almighty for who He is. We got to move the bus. Uh, I, in the midst of you, you can still praise Him, but we're going to move the bus. Huh? <laughs> if you're standing up, you can stand up on the bus right now. We're going uh, 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 Janine, we're going to let Him stand up right now. We're going to move the bus. We're not going to move far. I'm going to drive slow, but I don't want to stop you from praising the Lord, huh? <laughs> We're moving the bus. What's up, Demeter? Glad to have you with us. We're moving. <laughs> Y'all keep, keep a good base. <laughs> praise the name. <laughs> ah, he's worthy of all the praise. Psalm 97, verse 11. Can you meet me there? Some of you already done beat me there. Psalm 97, verse 11. Huh? Seven. 9711. Psalm 97, 97, That's where I need you to meet me at. Psalm 97, verse 11. Can you meet me there and read God's word? Psalm 97, verse 11. <laughs> Who? Alone. Psalm 97 verse 11. Are y'all over there? If you're there, shake the leaves. Psalm 97 verse 11. Um, you're there. I see you, Sylvia. What's up, Sylvia? So glad to have you with us, my friend, Sylvia. Sylvia is gold. God bless you, Sylvia. All right, here we go. Psalm 97, verse 11. I need everybody reading out loud. Everybody, I need you to read this out loud. Come on. Sonora, you, you already there. That's what I'm talking about. You, she done beat me there. <laughs> Come on. Out loud as you can. Verse 11. Dig and, dig and blend. I need you reading this loud. Come on. It says, light is sown for the righteous. And gladness... For the upright in heart. Good God Almighty. I, I, I hope you highlight this. I, are you writing this down? Vita Laverne. Are, are y'all writing all this down? Uh, you can always go back to the Bible study and get this. Because it's going to be out there Lord's will. But if you take your personal notes on your phone. Or on your notepad. Or you got a highlighter or a crayon. Or whatever you writing with. huh? A pencil. A number two pencil. You got one of them big kindergarten pencils. Whatever you writing with. Amen. It said light is sown for the righteous. And gladness for the upright in heart. So in other words, when God said let there be light, he was making a way for his people even from the beginning. To be able to see. Not only does light, a man gives light. But light also gives off heat. Good God Almighty, are y'all with me? Amen. Not only does light give off heat. Amen. Not only does light make things visible, but light draws. Light draws. Huh? That's why at night, amen, uh, one light on the coast of a rocky shore, which is called a lighthouse, will keep ships and boats from crashing. Huh? And it will also keep other folk from running into the water. Huh? Light. Amen. It is also a warning. Amen. Light draws and light drives. I need somebody to put that on the screen. Light draws and light drives. 
Huh? Amen. When when you're driving down the road in the summer, you have a light on. Even at, on your porch, if you have a light on, it draws insects. Light attracts. It draws. Amen. But now if you're uh, uh, evil-hearted and mean, and when the light come on, it also make other things run away. It drives. Huh? It drives. It, it draws and it drives. Good God of mine. It's all according if you love light or not. <laughs> See, if you love light, it'll draw you. But if it, you don't love light, it'll drive you. Good God of mine. Is that helping somebody here? I need about 10 more people to push that share arrow because in the beginning, God made light is sown for the righteous people. Who are the righteous people? Are righteous people perfect? No. Are righteous people, amen, uh, uh, do everything right? No. Amen. Are righteous people exist? No, they don't exist. Because my Bible said there is none righteous. No, not one. Huh? <laughs> uh, nobody is right. We all have sinned and come short of his glory. But the word righteous, see the first part of the word righteous is right. And so when a person is right, that means if they love God, if they confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus and believe that God has raised them from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And when we get saved and respect God, that's what makes us right. Huh? Uh, that would make us right. Not, not Jesus makes it right. He'll make it right. Jesus will. He'll make it right. <laughs> He'll make it right. Jesus will. He'll make it right. That's how we get right. With God through Jesus. Through accepting Jesus. Through believing in Jesus. Through uh, praying to Jesus. Through serving Jesus. Through telling others about Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's how we get right with God. And that love, that old song, we don't hardly hear it no more. But what happens when you're in the darkness? What, what happens when you're in a predicament? What happens when you done slipped and fell in sin? What happens, amen, when you're backsliding and can't get up the hill? What happens when, amen, it seems like the devil is holding you down? What happens when it seems like, amen, you love sin more than you love right? What happens when, amen, you get up but don't go to church? What happens when, amen, you get off the choir because you're mad. What happens when you let the light grow dim in your life? Huh? This is what happened. This is how we need to handle it. This is how the old saints at Concord when I was a little boy in, in the 70s. When, when I was a little boy, they used to sing this song. And, and I used to hear this song. And, and, and it still means so much to me. That's why gospel music is so important. That's why the choirs are so important. That's why the musicians are so important. That's why, amen, not only is the preaching, but everything that happens during that service is important. They used to sing a song, and y'all know it, y'all sing it with me. I think I, I want to say the old deaconesses. I want to say deaconess Manning, amen, uh, Parley Manning, and some of the other ones used to say, Get right with God. And do it now. Oh, get right with God. And he will show you how. Y'all remember that? Down at the cross. Where he shed his blood. Get right with God. Get right, get right with God. Y'all remember that one? And, 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 and a lot of times when I'm counseling people or they're telling me about their situations and, and I hear them and I give them encouragement and then after we talk, I, I like to ask them, how are you with God? Are, are, are you trying to get closer to God? Are you trying to live right? Or are you just living just enough for the city? <laughs> are, 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 you, are, are you trying to do better? But a lot of time when you get right with God, your situation will get right. 
<laughs> when you get right with God, amen, uh, uh, you'll find the right mate. When you get right with God, you'll find the right date. When you get right with God, amen, your money will grow. When you get right with God, amen, you can go to sleep at night. When you get right with God, hell hounds will leave you alone. When you get right with God, you're running with the right crowd instead of the wrong. When you get right with God, a lot of times that will just handle everything right there, right there. Just get right with God. Huh? Get right with God. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I, I, I feel like saying that one more time. Y'all gonna join in with me? Get right with God and do it now. Oh, get right with God and He will show you how. Good God Almighty. Notice what she said down at the cross. Huh? That's that's what you got to believe what he did. Down at the cross. Huh? Uh, down there where they lied on him. Down at the cross. Where they pierced him in. Down at the cross. Where he didn't say a mumbling word. Down at the cross. When he said, Father, forgive them. Down at the cross. Huh? Where he shed his blood. God Almighty, get it right with God. <laughs> Woo! Get it right. <laughs> get it right with God. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> uh, he's moving now. I, I see some of your comments. He's moving now. North Carolina, he's moving now. South Carolina, he's moving now. <laughs> New York and New Jersey, moving now. <laughs> He's able, Georgia and Florida, they're moving now. The Georgia, Florida line, moving now. <laughs> Gaffney and Blacksburg, moving now. <laughs> huh? How many love the Lord out there, huh? How many? How many? Do you love him? I love him too. Huh? Good God. Oh, man, we're having a good Bible study in here today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. His name is worthy. But we got to move the bus. Now, now we're getting ready to move the bus one more time. Janine, I need him to sit down this time. John chapter 1. The Gospel of John. The Gospel of John. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. He heard my cry. See my soul. <laughs> and set it on. Hallelujah. Fire. Good God Almighty. And Hutchison, good morning to you. Glad to have you with us. And, and, glad to have you with us. Boy, we got a wonderful group of people on the bus this morning. What a bus load, what a bus load this morning. Ray Ray, what's up, Ray Ray? I see y'all. They were sitting down, Janine. Thank you. Janine, you awesome. Working from the hospital today, you awesome. God bless you and Denisha. Denisha, you keep the faith, girl. God's got you. Amen. I'll be by the hospital today or tomorrow. I'll be there to see you. God bless you. All right, here we go. We got we 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 got we got to roll on. We got a few more stops to make. John, are you there? John chapter one verse five. Sonora, you don't beat me there again. Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Thank you, Ann, for letting us know where you are. And we're gonna we're gonna do a location check in today, if you don't mind. If you can put it on the screen, put the city where you are. Just put it on the screen right now. We want to know, amen, where the bus is stopping. So we, we got to make sure we have enough gas to go all these places. Amen. Come on. Let your neighbors see where you are. Let them see you not, that they're not the only ones on the bus. Come on. We're doing a check-in right now. Wherever you are, put your city and state right there. City and state. Come on. And let's see where the bus riders are. John chapter 1. Verse 5, that's where I need you at. John chapter 1, verse 5. Come on. We're doing a little, little, little check here. John chapter 1, verse 5. John is the fourth gospel. Amen. In the New Testament. Amen. John, amen, is, amen, the fourth gospel. Amen. Amen. Let, let, me, let me go back up here and get the cities here. Let's see what we got. We got Gaffney. 
Spartanburg. We got Shelby. Columbia. Lockport, New York. Charlotte, North Carolina. Greensboro, North Carolina. God bless you. Bridgeport, Connecticut. Spartanburg. The Bronx, New York. Gaffney, Massachusetts. Beantown, Boston. Winston-Salem, Gaffney. In the Gaffney Hospital. Thank you, Miss Knuckles. I thought you was in Spartanburg. But are we in here? Siobhan Allen, thank you so much for joining us. Bowling Springs, South Carolina. Shelby, Blacksburg. All over. That's what I'm talking about. From y'all from way over yonder. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. Way over yonder. Down by the riverside. Good call Almighty. We thank you. All right, here we go. John 1. John is the fourth gospel. Amen. John is the fourth book in the New Testament. Amen. I'm getting there. I know Sonora done beat me there. Chesney. What's up, Cheryl? Harris, glad to have you. Amen. From all over. That's the good thing about technology when we use it right. Huh? We all connected right now in the name of Jesus. John. John is the 43rd book in the Bible. John is the fourth book in the New Testament. Amen. Charlotte, thank you, Miss Redfern. John 1, verse 5. I need you there at verse 5. Come on. It's about time to, to end this bus here. God bless you. I just need to connect this thing up here. Y'all bear with me a second here. Just doing a little adjustment here. Now, I need you at John. What's up, Miss Crosby, Cal? In Charlotte, North Carolina also. Bless you. God is good. Now, as we look here, John 1, verse 5. I need everybody to read. Read and read. I need everybody. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. Come on. I need you reading right here. And I need, need about two more of y'all to push this share arrow. Come on. Loud as you can. To make of you on here, loud as you can. Ready to read. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. I need you to, to highlight that verse. We read a while ago where the light is sown for the righteous. And when the, the righteous see the light, it makes us glad. Hmm? But this says, and the light shineth in, light shines in darkness. What's up, Connie Smith? All the way in Texas. God bless you. Hope you're feeling better and doing better. Hope you're having a good day, Connie Smith. Now, it says here that light shines in darkness. Light is made to shine in darkness. Baytown, Texas. Yeah? Down Baytown. I, I thank you, Connie. It said, and light shineth in darkness. Light shines its best in darkness. Huh? That's why it, it, you, you don't have to hang out with people, but when you're around them, let your light shine because they got to see light somewhere. Leslie, what's up? How you doing, cuz? All right, Connie, I'll, I'll be waiting to hear from you. Now, what is what it was said? It said, and the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended not. Amen. So don't be alarmed or don't be shocked when you're trying to, to, to let your light shine and they act like they don't see you. you trying to let them see God in you and they act like they don't see nothing. They act like they don't want to acknowledge God. And as a matter of fact, they don't. That's why they like dark. Some insects are made for the darkness. Some animals are made for the darkness. Huh? Uh, you don't hardly see him in the daytime. Don't you know that Dracula was made for the darkness? He, he don't like the light. He don't like the cross. Those things are kill him. <laughs> uh, am, am I helping somebody? 
They they don't like darkness. They they come out. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at the freaks come out. Y'all don't remember that, do you? Some of y'all gonna Google it in a minute. <laughs> I know you're going to do it, huh? and it's all right. But even in the midst of, dark, of, of a light, even in the midst of daytime, they're still in their dark shell. They're like turtles. They're, 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 they'll draw in. Amen. Don't want to be seen. Don't want to have nothing to do with nothing. But but soon as somebody die, then they want to be seen. As soon as it gets terrible, then they want to be seen. As soon as a man, a, 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 a somewhat troublesome become very troublesome, then they want to be seen. You got to grab God while you can be grabbed. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Draw nigh to him and he'll draw nigh to you. Huh? Is this helping somebody? They love darkness rather than light. Some of them do. Are you with me? Amen. I need you to go down. Amen. Down to verse 9. Down to verse 9. We got a couple more stops and we got to get out of here. Y'all having a good time today? I know I am. We got to move the bus. We're just moving a little bit. Y'all sit down. John 1 verse 9. We're just moving just a little bit here. Alright, John 1 verse 9. I need everybody reading there and then we're about to close this thing out for the day. Come on, ready and read. It said, that was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Amen. And that's talking about Jesus. As we look there at John 1 verse 9, I want you to look at the word. Uh, 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 before the word light in verse 9. Amen. What is the word before light in verse 9? John 1 and verse 9. Huh? I want everybody that can put it on the screen, put it on the screen. This helps you grow. This helps you recall. This helps you remember. This helps you, amen, become one with the word. This helps you get used to speaking it. This helps you get used to reading it. That's why when the preacher start reading it, you can finish the verse out because you've already read it. You've already studied it. It has already become a part of you. It has already rang in your ear. It has already found a hiding place in your heart. It has already began, amen, to blossom in your mind. That's why I ask you to put these things on the screen. That's why I ask you to comment. That's why I ask you to say these things. Because when you do that, you're growing. When you do that, you're flowing. When you do that, you're showing. When you do that, amen, you're, you're increasing. When you do that, amen, your wattage is going up. Your light shines a little bit brighter. Good God Almighty. And the darker it gets, the more light we need. <laughs> huh? The darker it gets. The more light we need. Somebody out there, uh, I need to see that on the screen. The darker it gets, the more light we need. Thank you so very much. Thank you. True, true, true is the word that is there. True, true. There you go. True is the word before light. Amen. And then, amen, I want you to look at the word light and see that the word light is capitalized. Do you see that there? It's not at the beginning of a sentence. That's when you capitalize the letter. But this is in the middle of the sentence. It said the true light. And, and that capitalized L means that it's talking about Jesus. Huh? He is the true light. Huh? That's what we need. We need that true light. We need that powerful light. Huh? That's what we need, that light. That light. He was the true light. And we're going to end with that back there today. He likes every man. He likes every woman, every boy, every... He likes shine on me. Anybody remember that one? Oh... Shine on me, God Almighty. Let the light 
From the lighthouse Shine On me yeah, So you gotta want God to help you and, and when you know the devil is trying to confuse you and mess you up Oh shine Thank you Jesus Oh me Oh yes huh? That's when you need God's help When you're not ashamed of folk Oh Oh shine I'm getting ready to go Oh me You see you got to recognize where you are And what you're thinking Let the light Good God Almighty from the lighthouse shine when people lying on me and talking shine when they don't understand oh shine on me <laughs> that's all I want to tell you today God's got you. He's got you. He's going to take care of you. And I can't wait the next week to ride with you one more time. Huh? We need to pray today. Amen. As we said today, I got a call this morning from Sheila uh, McGill. She is hospitalized in Sponberg. Amen. I'm telling you, there's, there's so much. These past two weeks, we've had sickness upon, upon sickness. Amen. We've had heartache amongst heartache. We had pain amongst pain. Ramona Benita. Glad to have you with us. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Now, we're going to ask your prayers, amen, at this time for, for, for some of our brothers and sisters who are going through. Amen. Again, Sheila McGill, uh, Hospital, Sponberg. Miss Audrey Oglesby, amen, Hospital, Sponberg, amen. Vincent Foster, Hospital, Sponberg. Kenny Smith. Hospital, Sponberg, amen. Uh, uh, Denisha Bates, Hospital, Sponberg. Michael Hardy, Hospital, Sponberg, amen. Nancy Knuckles, Hospital, Gaffney, amen. And out of the hospital, we do have Vivian Blanton, amen. Charlotte, North Carolina. We have Annette Hardy Smith, amen. Gaffney, we have Tecora Watts, Blacksburg. Amen. We have Lottie Mayberry, Gaffney. Amen. We have Steve Kemp. Amen. Gaffney. We have Vi Sutton, Birmingham, Alabama. Amen. We have uh, Connie Smith. Amen. Who's on today, but going through a storm there in Baymont, Texas. Amen. Kel Holmes, recovering from sickness. Amen. Uh, and my, my father in law, Sam Simon, Greenville, South Carolina. I told y'all we got a lot going on. Pray for my friend Bruce Stewart. Amen. Having some difficult days. Amen. And also for all of you, my brothers and sisters, uh, may God bless you. For Rashid Johnson, to all of you, Pastor Bridges love you. Amen. Keep the faith. I need somebody to put on there, keep the faith. Can you put that on the screen? Just keep the faith. Love you much too. I love all of y'all so very much. Thank you all for riding the bus with me. And I pray that God will continue to bless and keep you. Now, henceforth, and forevermore. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Carol. Kenny Smith is out. Thank you so very much for that update. Amen. And that's what I'm talking about. Just know Pastor Bridges love you and I'm praying for you. Yes, don't forget to go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote. Early voting. Wherever state or city you in, go vote. Amen. Let your voice be heard. You are the light. Shine in where you are. Shine where you are. Go vote. Shine where you are. And sometimes, even though the, the candidate that we vote for might not win, because the vote was close, they understand that they better do what's right, because the next time they won't be in there. So y'all go vote. Amen. I'll tell Mama, hey, I love you all. God bless you. Let's bow our heads. Father, thank you for how you blessed us today. We had a wonderful time on the bus. We had a wonderful time looking at your word. God, we pray that your word is sown on good soil, that it will grow forth. 
and give a hundredfold in all of our lives. We pray, God, for all the names that were called, that were sick, all the names that were not called. We pray for them. We pray, God, for people who, who, who love darkness rather than light. We pray for those who don't want to do right but having a good time doing wrong. God, we pray for your grace and mercy upon them. And allow them to change before it's everlasting too late. Thank you for changing us. Thank you for changing me. And I pray, oh God, that you will continue to shine on us. Because that we can know where you are. And we'll know how to get there. And we'll know what direction to go. God bless us. All of your, our steps in your word, dear Lord. Lead us, guide us every day. Send your anointing, Father, we pray. Order our steps in your word. May the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide with us now, henceforth, and forevermore. Amen. Huh? Did you say amen? Huh? We're going to have a good time again. We want to see you Sunday morning. Amen. We're going to have baptism at 9 o'clock. Amen. For those, amen, who want to be a part of this wonderful experience. And then we'll move right on to our morning worship, our first Sunday worship. Amen. Come on out and worship with us, 915 Concord Road. And if you have a baptized believer and, and you need the Lord's Supper, you want to meet us Sunday at 915 Concord Road. We're going to have a hallelujah good time. Amen. The mass choir is going to be ready. The musicians going to be ready. Amen. The praises and worshipers going to be ready. Amen. The the preacher going to be ready. We're going to have a Holy Ghost good kind. Come on. Meet us. 915. We'll see you again, my friend, at 10 o'clock on Sunday. Have a good weekend. God bless you. Amen. Keep trusting God.